All right, welcome back to this session. So in this session, we're going to be discussing this question on the screen, which says, uh, in the binomial expansion of one plus x to the power 40, the coefficients of x to the power four and x to the power five are p and q respectively. Find the value of q over p. So this is a very simple question. As I said, the most important thing to know when you're dealing with a binomial theorem or binomial expansions is simply just the theorem itself. So solving the theorem is one of the most important, I mean, knowing the theorem is one of the most important thing when you're dealing with binomial theorem or binomial expansions. So we have the, co they're saying the coefficients of x to the power four and x to the power five are p and q. So we know to say the nth term in any binomial expansion is given by n choose r, and then we have n, oh, sorry, a, then we have n minus r, and then we have b to the power r. So in some books, I said r is sometimes represented by uh, k, and then a and b sometimes are represented by x and y. So let us uh, see how we can deal or how we can use this formula to solve uh, to solve this question. So the nth term is given by n choose r, and then we have a to the power n minus r, and then br. So we've been given to say uh, the coefficients of x to the power four and x to the power five are p and q respectively. So now how do you see how do you solve for p and q? So we assume that we don't know the value of r at the term which contains x to the power four. So the value of r there, we don't know. So how do we find the value of r? We solve it as if we are trying to find the term independent of x. The same procedure that we follow is the one that I'm going to use here. So let us first find the value of r at x to the power four. So how do you find this? So the value of n we have, the value of a and b we have, but we don't have r. So let us find that. So the first thing that we do, we have x, we have one. Um, I mean, let me write this formula. So n choose r, the value of n there is 40. Choose what? r, I don't know the value of r. And then we say this is equal to, oh, sorry, not that. Okay, so we have n choose r, and then the value of a there, according to the question, the question is one plus x to the power 40. So the value of a is simply just one, and then we're raising this to the power what? Uh, r, uh, sorry, n minus r. So the value of n has been given. So we write 40 there. So we say 40 minus what? Minus r, and then the value of b there has also been given to be x, then the power of b should be what? r. So we're trying to find the value of r at the term which contains, um, at the term which has um, x to the power four. So this, I'm going to equate this to n choose what? To n choose r, and then this should have um this should have what this this should have the coefficient what the coefficient of um okay let me do this let me not confuse you by even writing this so let me just simplify this expression yes i'm trying to find the value of r so i'm going to ignore the coefficient of this variable x and i'm going to write my x to the power, I'm just going to collect the, uh, the, the parts which contains x in this uh, expression. And this is going to be x to the power r. This is the only x that I have. And then I'm going to equate this to the power what? I'm going to equate this to, to four, I mean to x to the power four. So when I equate this to x to the power four, uh, when the bases are equal, this means that the, the what is, this means that 
the when the bases are equal, this implies that even the powers are also equal, meaning R is equal to four. So at the term which contains X uh, to the power four, the value of R is what? Is four. So if this is the case, then we can find the coefficient of what? Of the term that has X to the power four. So how do we find the coefficient? The coefficient is just found by getting this remaining part, which does not have X. So um, P is therefore going to be equal to 40, choose what? Choose R, which is four. And then we say one raised to the power 40 minus uh, four. So we say 40 minus four, which is just going to give us what? Um, that, uh, 30, 30, 36, one to the power 36 is still one. So the coefficient is therefore going to be equal to, um, so for the coefficient, we just remain with, uh, sorry for that. For the coefficient, we just remain with, uh, we just remain with um, this part because this raised to the power that six, the answer will still be one. So one times that we just remain with 40 choose four. So how do we simplify 40 choose four? 40 choose four using the simplest form of combinations. You first write what is down there. We have what four times, um, we have four times three times two times one. And then on top there, I'll also write four numbers starting from 40. We have 40 times 39 times uh, 38 times uh, 37. So these, these are the numbers. So we know that um, three can go into 39, how many times? 13. And then four can go into 40, how many times? 10. And then um, this, two can go into what? Set H. How many times? Uh, we have one and then we have nine, 19 times. So we have 10 times 13 times 19 times 37. So we have 10 times 13 times uh, 19 times 37. And this is giving us uh, 91,390. So this is the coefficient of X to the power four. So let us also do the same to find the coefficient of X to the power five. So um, the same procedure that I followed here, you follow it and you discover that you still have X to the power R is equal to X to the power five. So if X to the power R is going to be equal to X to the power five, means that R is equal to five at the term that contains x to the power five. So what this means is that we replace uh, the value of r to find q. So q is therefore going to be equal to the coefficient of that will be 40, choose what? Choose 40, choose, uh, sorry, yeah. 40 choose what? Choose r. So 40 choose r, uh, my r is what? Is five. And then we have one raised to the power 40 minus five. Yeah, so this is going to be the coefficient because this side we're going to have x raised to the power what? To the power um, uh, to the power five. So to find q, we're going to have um, forty choose five. This is just going to be uh, five times four times three times two times one. And then on top there we have forty times thirty nine times thirty eight times thirty seven times 36. So we can simplify this um, 40 into, I mean, four into 40, this gives us 10. Five into 10, this gives us what? Uh, two. And then we have three into 39, 13. Then we have two into 38. We have a, um, is it 19? Yeah, 19. Yeah, so we can just simplify, we can just multiply what is on top there. So we have two times, um, we have these two here times 13, and then times 19, then times 37 times 36, times 37 times 36. So this is um, giving us 3,000, oh, sorry, 6,000, 500, I don't know, this, this should be, uh, 
this should be 658,000 and then eight at the end. So this has X to the power what? To the power five. So if it has X to the power five, meaning we have to, if it has X to the power five, meaning we have to get the coefficient there because they, are, they want us to divide the coefficients. So to find uh, Q over P, Q over P will therefore be equal to uh, 60, 658,008 then over um, 91390 have 91390 at the end so we just have to divide that to get the solution so we have 91390 and this is giving us what? Uh, 7.2. So 7.2 is just the same as seven, remainder, I mean, two over what? Seven, two over, um, let me just write it the way it is. And because I don't have, um, Sorry for that. I don't know why I'm, I'm experiencing this today. Okay. So we have 7.2, which can also be written as a fraction if you want. Yeah, so this is uh, what we have. Okay, so do you have any questions on this question? Okay, so let's meet in the next session that we're going to have, which is, I think, should be tomorrow. And then for, the, for, the, for these questions which I've skipped, I'm going to make a tutorial video and I'm going to send it to the group because the reason why I've skipped these, you solve them in the same way as I solved these questions. All right, so like I said, uh, these questions that I'm solving this week are going to be the last questions I'm going to be allowing everyone to see on YouTube, meaning all those that um, need to continue seeing or continue viewing the videos that I post on my channel, uh, make sure that you, you inbox me, you contact me for lessons, and, uh, and then we'll see how I'm going to help you. Yeah, so you can simply just contact me using any of these lines on the screen, and then we'll see how best we're going to help each other. Yeah, so, this is the last week you'll be able to see these videos on YouTube. I'm going to, I'm only going to be posting them in the group um, and only those that have paid for lessons are going to be able to see them. Yeah, so they're only going to be visible to the people that have paid for lessons. All right, see you in the next tutorial video that we're going to have. My name is Hamted, Shalom, Shalom.